So this is my third stop of the day. Uh, I just arrived at Northgate. I know it hasn't been that long since I was here last, but I was passing by and I thought, why not? I always find fun, kitschy, good deals here. Now, I have been admittedly hard to please thus far today. Uh, I've been super stingy, even more stingy than usual. So far, I've spent $65. And uh, let's give this a quick walkthrough and see what they got before I head down the street to Bedford. There's already a lot of new stuff I'm seeing in this case. Uh, I love the little elf ornaments. $10 each is totally fair for a collector. It's about what I'd get for them after fees. The one thing that really um, stands out to me on this shelf that wasn't here before are these Egghead salt and pepper shakers. Unfortunately, I have a little bit of paint loss. Uh, I have a feeling without looking it up. that That's a more collectible set. A lot of the Egghead salt and pepper shakers sell for pretty decent money. Um, but because of the condition, I think I'm gonna pass. And of course, I love the little pixie there. $10 firm is a super fair price. A lot of this stuff is stuff I've looked at before and been kind of on the fence about. Um, and of course, there's those Sansa salt and pepper shakers we saw. Oh man, there's just like so much good stuff in here. That angel ornament is pretty spectacular. But I'm being really, really picky, even more so picky than usual. Elves are still here, which is crazy. Um, love the little Christmas hanky. And these art glass snowmen are pretty interesting. Hmm. A lot of stuff I like, and of course the pumpkin planter. I'm just not seeing anything key worthy. I hate getting cases open, even though it's uh, really simple. I make myself sound lazy. What's happening here? Oh, it's like a toilet seat cover. <laughs> Does it, oh, I thought I was gonna say bye on the other side. Dang. Uh, tree skirt. Was it a tree skirt? Yes. It's got a little damage though. I kind of breezed through my usual booths. Um, I cannot help but notice this really old Annie pillow. That is phenomenal. $25. Oh, I don't think I can swing that for resale. It's really quite um, unique. Uh, these are kind of funny. I've bought and sold those in the past. They don't sell for much. I'm just being super hard to please. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm looking for something that really, really stands out. And I'm just not finding it so far. I've gone through almost the entire first floor. What are those salt and pepper shakers over there? Toothpaste ones, those are fun. Oh my gosh, my basket stuck. <laughs> it's kind of a tight squeeze. Yeah, I've had those before though. Oh, look at how spectacular this guy is. Oh, it's a music box. It's German too. He's got some damage on his nose there. 63, just kidding. What an unusual ornament. Huh. So I feel like I've kind of rummaged through the uh, upstairs as much as I can. I'm hoping to have better luck down here. Hey, look, there's one of those funny dragon banks. <laughs> I've had uh, this one a couple times. I think it's so funny. Um, a lot to talk about right here. First of all, this funny sad doll, but also this wild mask. <laughs> totally goofy. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It's carved. Huh. 1350. I feel like that's pretty cheap. Very unique. I'm gonna pass though. I'm being I'm just holding out. I'm holding out. I'm waiting until I find it. Um speaking of which, they're still running a sale and they have a lot of new stuff. And I see a lot of stuff I'm interested in. 
Okay, I'm gonna start shelf by shelf. A lot of the stuff in the back is stuff that I've looked at before. Of course, I see the Holt Howard designed uh, Hollyberry Girls. They're 40, um, $42 and 30% off. I have to do the math on that. Oh, actually 25% off because I'm really not trying to go to the ATM. So that's a really good deal still. It comes to like $29.50. Uh, I see the Commodore Japan Deer. However, the brown don't sell as well for me. The one thing I am noticing, let me open this, because I'm seeing they have the uh, these funny little duck salt and pepper shakers. They're Norcrest too. And I love the fuzzy ceramic squirrels. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. But these tall ducks too, I'm kind of like zoomed in because I'm really close. There's not a lot of space, 26. The long neck ones, uh, let me do a little math here. So the tall ducks come to 20 bucks, same with these. Uh, I'm just now seeing this whole shelf. So I'm gonna come back to that because I'm already super distracted. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, this is adorable, but 25, even with the discount, is a bit steep for me. This guy is quite spectacular. He's missing the fuzz on his uh, his uh, top of his head there. But of course, I think we're all looking at this. Now, it is supposed to be part of a set. It's Pie Japan. It's been repaired. So I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna have to do some homework. I'm kind of just all taking it in so far. Of course, the little deer I love, 22. Oh my gosh, this set of cupies, little bulldog. God, this vendor has such great stuff. Um, and of course, these fuzzy ceramic cats, 34, 34, and this one's 26. That's a little confusing. But also this bunny rabbit. Good grief, that's spectacular. 24. Um, don't see a maker on it. I feel like I've seen this before, maybe not. It doesn't really squeak. Oh, I get so crazy overwhelmed in this booth. This little blue mold Easter decoration. 16, oh my gosh, you're so cute. Yo, what is that? $10, made in Taiwan and it squeaks. I'm definitely gonna grab this for uh, $7.50 or whatever it is. Wow, that is quite spectacular. I've seen the ones in Japan, they sell for a lot. I'm not as familiar as, uh, with the Taiwan, but I'm gonna do some homework on it. Either way, I know that's a great price. This is a really pretty base, 20 bucks. Um, a little underwhelming compared to some of the other stuff I'm considering. So I've kind of thought about the Holt Howard Hollyberry girls at $31.50. I'm going to leave them. Um, I'm now seeing that they're really broken after I said that. So I'm glad I didn't get too carried away. As for this, it's $12 after the discount. But these are really hard to find and usually sell for pretty good money. I mean, not like expensive, expensive, but more than 12 bucks. Since it is harder to find, even with the little spot of uh, damaged flocking for 12 bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up as well. I'm now seeing why this one is 26 and this one's 34. It's obviously because it's uh, missing its whiskers. I have bought and sold these a lot in the past. Now they usually go for around 35 each. So at that price, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them behind. Doesn't leave as much room as I'd like. Um, the one thing that's really troubling me here is this uh, pie dog. Now, it comes to $31.50, as I said, it's super rare. I only found one that has sold and it sold for about the price of this one, which is $31.50, but it was also um, chipped up. I'm just kind of like, oh. It's hard to pass up, but with that broken foot, I think I'm gonna be smart about it and let it go. I just don't think I'd be able to make that much off of it as repaired as it is, especially because it's kind of a crummy job. Um, this guy's 15, if he had his fuzz still or didn't have this huge thing of glue, I would totally grab that just because it's adorable. The lipstick holder I've had a lot. It's a hobbyist piece. Um, it's pink. We love pink. We love a vanity poodle. 
moment, but not for that price again. And I've had this guy. He is supposed to have, I think he's supposed to have a uh, family. I've had him a bunch of times with the little family on chain. So I'm gonna pass on that too. I'm just, um, I'm also thinking about this, uh, this bunny, he's pretty spectacular. He comes to $18 after the discount. <laughs> he does not squeak, but he's got such a great face that I feel pretty confident, even though my squeaks have kind of slowed down, that this guy will find a fabulous home. I'm gonna pay up for him just because he's so unique. Whoa, hold up. I was going back for the ducks. Then I saw this lampshade. Wow, this is really quite epic. Van Briggle lampshade needs repair. Yeah, sure, but like that price tag, that's insane. I'm gonna get all that for leaving that behind, but I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna yell at myself about it if no one else does. The little ducks. Norcrest, $7.50. I'm gonna go ahead and take these two. I've only had this set once before and it sold for $30. Like a little Easter basket I've got going on. Now these ducks are troubling me too. These usually sell for uh, about, I wanna say the last pair I had was $38. But I'm gonna see how many are online right now. I don't wanna get it if there's uh, a bunch available. So those ducks are spectacular, but they come to 20 bucks and I'm just not confident enough that they'll sell quickly enough, especially because I won't be able to double my money. I am gonna do the painful thing and leave them behind because I know I have plenty more shopping in store for me this week. Now, I'd be lying if I uh, <laughs> wasn't like kicking myself already for paying $18 for this, but it's just too cute not to, honestly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so much happening over here. <laughs> like this one, $8.50, needs a comb. <laughs> I kind of love that. Oh, it's got a tag on it. Let's see what it says. Because the price is right. It's Dankin. I'm guessing 1970s. It should say on there. Oh, he's so fantastic. <laughs> he's kind of grumpy looking. I wonder if this would be worth picking up. I'm so on the fence about picking up stuffed animals these days. But, uh, $8.50. And then I know there's a discount. What is it? 45%? I mean, oh, who can resist that face? I'm going to grab it. Yeah, so it comes to like $4.70. So I'm not going to moan about it too much. I also love these nursery uh, room lamps. They're really well priced, but don't like messing with them, honestly. They're super fragile and they kind of concern me. I, I don't like shipping them, especially because they involve wood glue. I always appreciate the kitschy kitchen colors happening here. Oh, I love this set. I have this uh, in my kitchen. Now this booth too also uh, gets me into trouble sometimes. What does this say? 20. This is confusing. Hold on, I'm reading this sign. All right, I figured out what the sales are. <laughs> there was a lot of signage happening over there. Um, this lamp is quite spectacular. It would be 25% off since I'm paying with a card. But alas, it doesn't have a price, which is probably why it's still there. So I'm surprisingly not finding anything here. Uh, before I kind of give up all hope, I'm gonna go back to that booth I just, spent an incredible amount of time before I peek my head in here to make sure I'm not leaving anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to that one booth just because I just feel like I'm missing something or leaving something behind. Love the Santa popcorn. So I've done a kind of another walk around here and whereas I see a lot of cute stuff, I'm just gonna go with my gut and uh, say that's all there is here for me today. Um, I'm gonna come back in in a few weeks, but I think I did all right. Well, I told you that was gonna be a quick trip and I was not kidding. I spent $50 in there, which means I've spent $114 total. Oh my gosh, this dog is hilarious. <laughs> 
but it's not stopping there. I'm getting back in the car and I'm headed to Bedford Street. I'll see you guys there.